now from the National Park Foundation, Will Shoffrith and Tracy Ritchie. Thank you. It's great to be here with you all here in Miami. I'm Will Shafroth, President and CEO of the National Park Foundation. For those of us, for those of you who don't know us yet, uh, the National Park Foundation preserves history and culture, conserves wildlife and public lands. Uh, we connect and engage youth and everyone to the wonder and magic of our national parks. Um, Mainly what we do is we help the National Park Service make the parks better and the visitors experience there even better. Today, we're excited to announce $4.1 million in new investment in conservation service corps in our national parks. Thank you. These are young kids who are going to be working all around the country to support work to improve our parks, including many of them focusing on addressing climate change impacts. You know, what I love about uh, service corps projects is they're like a forfer. You know, you heard about a twofer, but it's a forfer. Number one, the work that they're doing is incredibly important and impactful in our national parks and things that the Park Service really needs to have done. Second, we're, we're paying these kids a wage. They're learning the value of work. Third, we're, we're giving them valuable job skills and leadership skills. And finally, we're, we're creating the next generation of park champions and stewards of our country. And many of these kids will go on to work in our parks and public lands and for, for their careers. So it's a great program. This year, we're, we're, this four and a half, $4.1 million is towards a $5 million commitment. And since, ni in two, since 2018, we've invested more than $15 million in 180 service corps all around the country. I'm here to joined by Tracy Ritchie, uh, who leads this work. Tracy, tell us more about what's going on. Sure. Thank you so much, Will. So as Will mentioned, the Service Corps is providing these hands-on experiences and skills to cultivate not only the next generation of natural resource professionals, but future park champions and stewards. And along with this, the Service Corps work is providing climate solutions. So for, from restoring natural habitats and removing invasive species to improving hiking trails and even fighting wildfires themselves. The Service Corps members are helping the National Park Service to protect park landscapes and to make the parks more resilient in the time of a climate, changing climate. So this year, the National Park Foundation is partnering with the National Park Service, but also more than 30 partner organizations that help make this work possible. So we have over 60 projects that we're funding in this next round, and it's hard to talk about all of them in the small time we have allotted today, so I had to pick three of my favorite children uh, to talk about you, for you today. Uh, so one of them is managing invasive species and wildfire risks in Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming, but we're also doing work to save Ice Age fossils through erosion mitigation at Waco Mammoth National Monument in Texas. And then we're also bolstering the sustainability of trails at Chattahoochee National River Recreation Area in Georgia Georgia to address flooding that exacerbates erosion along the Riverside Trails. So of course this work would not be possible without the general, generous and amazing commitment of our great partners. And I'll have Will tell you more about those partners. A final word here about gratitude, and, and that is that we wouldn't be able to do this without the support of many donors. Um, the JPP Foundation, Annie and Kevin Parker, Carhartt, Winnebago, Nature Valley, Apple, REI Co-op, American Express, free people, and right here in Florida, Publix supermarkets. Uh, these organizations and companies and individuals have contributed uh, nearly $5 million to support this work all over the country. We couldn't do it without them, nor could we do it without our partners like the Core Network, the Student Conservation Association, Conservation Legacy, Montana Conservation Corps, and the many others that work on behalf of the parks. Thank you all for being here, and have a great week. <laughs>